Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Let's see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. So what would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We got the sun. And the Page of Wands. Oh, somebody could be... Mm, somebody could be receiving some sort of clarity or good news. Somebody also could be getting free. I have seen the Eight of Swords. So somebody could be writing letters and stuff like that. Somebody could be in jail. Somebody might, might be getting released. So this could be some good news here. Somebody is excited to plan. Very optimistic about their new freedom. Somebody could have called somebody on the phone or wrote them a letter. Or somebody trying to come up with a bright idea on how to get out. Uh, somebody could be doing better, you know, after after having to sit down for a little bit and be separated from, you know, being able to play, being able to be with family or their children. It could have definitely made them sad. This person is used to doing deceitful, tricky and cheating things here, you know, underhanded things. That's what made them happy. That's good. That could be what brought them joy, being deceitful, being an enemy, you know, playing that role. Um, they could have been also doing this to try to fulfill things for their family, you know. But this person could also be proposing to somebody or trying to get married when they get out. This person, even though this person in jail, this person been uh, spying on you or having somebody spy on you. They have been removed from, you know, society and whatever the case may be, but they still got eyes on you and they family. And if you was with somebody before they went in, they still got eyes on you. Six of Swords. They see that y'all might have like, you know, like a difficult journey, you know, hardship or whatever the case may be. But they also see you doing all right. You could be traveling and, you know, you could have ran away for better clarity. You could be trying to survive, you know, you and your family, you and your children. This person sees you as wise, very composed. They look at you as a goddess. Strong, beautiful, loving yourself. They look at you as a goddess energy.
this person could be trying to learn something new and search for the truth. You know? This person could be trying to learn something and search for the truth. This man could be a, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Leo, a Capricorn. Oh, oh shit. Well, yeah, this man trying to go in and search for the truth so he can be on your type level, your type of time. This could be a daddy. This man trying to gain some sort of structure so he can be dependable. Because he see how you, you know, getting that clarity about you and how you, how you doing, how you work, you know. This man could also be an Aries. We have Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. This man trying to be dependable, you know, get on some new stuff, old school. Maybe even court you and date you when he get out. He been thinking about some other stuff. Either this man got a family with you or this man is a father, got a family. Or if this man doesn't have a family at all, he's a father figure. But he just, you know, he trying to match you. Like, he trying to match you. It could have been a burden to get this man to, you know, gain some structure, some discipline, and take you out on dates and take pictures with you and be chivalrous. This man was too busy or unavailable, hard to reach, had other worries and stuff, struggles, overloaded, you know, weight on his shoulders, worrying about other shit. So this man would abandon you. <sighs> This man would abandon you. Withdraw. Now this now this man be just seeing you in his dreams and dreaming about your ass. He been trying to keep it quiet. But this man feel like a failure. But this man know he more powerful than that. This man feel like he fails you. He feel like a failure. And that's the secret. He keeping that a, like that pain and them secrets to himself that he feel like he just, you know, completely ruined things and caused a lot of pain. This man is going through his own, um, you know, something is collapsing within this man. And this man is usually powerful. You know what I'm saying? This man is usually like, he tried to be like bossed up. But this man collapsing in pain and he keeping it to himself like as a secret. He keeping it to himself. So this man is trying to lay a new foundation, trying to take charge and lay a new foundation. This man could be rebelling against and protesting against Maybe this man was a thief, stealing or cheating people or some type of criminal. This man is going against that. And this man going against superficial shit, superficial love, materialism, gold diggers and shit. This man trying to, you know, protest against that shit that he used to be on. Oh, ooh, balance, temperance. Yeah, this man ain't playing. This man trying to go against that shit that he used to be on. Virgin. You know, trying to, you know, remain pure, innocent, trying to gain uh, balance and harmony, trying to get purified. This man is on a peaceful journey. Somebody could see uh, 22, 22, 12, 12, 0, 0, 16. That could be significant. This man might want to, you know, this man is committed to this and may want to get committed to you. Mm-hmm. This man is planning for y'all future. And this is a secret. You don't even know this. But this man is awakening to the lust 
the you know the things that he was scared of his insecurities ace of cups this man is awakening to that shit and what was holding him back from being strong from you know what real strength is not that bossed up shit that he thought it was you know planning and robbing and being or being a criminal or um superficial shit i mean that real strength and this man is seeing what was holding him back and you know sometimes it takes for you to have to sit it down so you gonna have some type of communication coming in and this man is about to make a change you know usually you know that jail talk but nah this for real and this this change this change is is this make this man making a decision he excited about it too and he is he and his authority he making a rational a rational decision and using his intelligence he could even be communicating this to the judge his changes and what he's seeing yeah airing out his grievances And what's an accomplishment to him in his eyes is him being holy, being sacred, getting into his faith, and him being proud to have a wife. And instead of them rebounds and shit. And, you know, he wants support from his community. He wants equal give and take in these things. And he willing to work hard for seven of pentacles to see that return on his of justice. Damn. To see that return on his investment. I'm telling you. And the law might even end up seeing that. The law may have been observing this man and studying this man. And this man is usually violent and hot tempered or, you know, materialistic cheating and shit. You know? But they see this man being dedicated and getting into alignment so they can be free. I'm telling you. Even the justice system seeing this change within this person or, this, you know, whoever's in there, CEO, judge, lawyer, whatever. And it's the truth. So this man is learning these life lessons here. We're getting caught up with the law. So these changes and this communication is coming in. This man willing to work for it. Now, you know, it's, it's, this man going to be leveling up. Don't think it's just going to be all perfect, whatever. But this man is putting in the work. Going from uh, what I see, the four of pentacles to the six of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? Leveling up. Then what after that? Eight of Pentacles, commitment, working, perfection, nine of you know what I'm saying? Nine of Pentacles, return, well-being, all that, leveling up, ten of Pentacles, you know what I'm saying? So this man is taking the initiative to level up, and with that hard work that this man is putting in, this man is going to get a return on his investments here. Justice. Yep. Good old justice. This is beautiful right here. This is beautiful right here. Let's get y'all some music. We have here Guapel closer, closer. First, are getting closer to their dreams. Give you on like I want you. This person could have been acting like, you know, acting all tough, like down, you know. But nah, this person. This person been making I've been making plans. Oh love. Baby, I've been making plans for you. Listen to Wale Matrimony. Wale Matrimony, the dream spiritual tank dirty. Kevin Gates cartel swag. 
uh, Big Sean, the baddest, L. Voiner, fuck it all, Nipsey Hustle, status symbol three, featuring Buddy, Anaya, the best thing, Trick Daddy, play no games. Janae Aiko, born tired. Janae Aiko, happiness over everything. This person could have been a hoe. But some of y'all, somebody could have been having some cartel dealings. For some of y'all, somebody could have been a thief. Uh, we ran across our mind. Somebody could have been an enforcer. We got Tink Treat Me Like Somebody. Sis of Good Days and Dreamville Sacrifices. So, you know, pray for your situation. If this is something that you want, Pray for your situation, you know. But it does look like something can definitely happen with this, with the effort and the support here. Justice is definitely here. So let's get a, a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. So we have here, happy is the person who not only sings, but feels Yahweh's eyes on the sparrow and knows he watches over me. Let us come to Yahweh with thanksgiving and sing psalms of praise to him. Be strong and take heart all who hope in Yahweh. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Yahweh, have not forsaken those who seek you. I will sing to Yahweh for he has been good to me. Oh, the joys of those who trust in Yahweh. I will praise you, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. <laughs> Confirmation. Come to me, all who labor and are levy, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. O my strength to you, I sing praises for you, O Yahweh, are my refuge, the Yahweh who shows me unfailing love. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.